So, I don't believe in right or wrong, good or bad. I don't believe in those things. And uh, when I told my dad this, he he told me that he couldn't have a he couldn't have a relationship with somebody who didn't believe in right, wrong, good or bad. It's interesting that he would be willing to throw away a father-son child, a father-son relationship over anything, but especially over that. So, I mean, he threw it away without even asking what I meant. <laughs> that's pretty, and that's usually how it goes, honestly. Honestly, that's usually how it goes. Like, you know, somebody, hey, Jeff, do you think this is right that he did that? I'm like, uh, I don't know. I don't know if it was right or, I don't know. I don't believe in right or wrong, good or bad. So, and they're like, what? What? So what are you saying? That, what, you don't think it's wrong to murder somebody? And I'm like, oh, come on. You come back with some rudimentary, uh, super beyond basic response like that. Oh, my God. Come on. <clears throat> of course, uh, I would never murder somebody because I believe in creation. <laughs> Murdering is destruction. Anyway, so, yeah, so... I don't believe in right, wrong, good, or bad. Um, I don't believe our feelings carry any rightness, wrongness, goodness, or badness in them. I think we are triggered emotionally about, I mean, the way we hear certain things. Everybody, nobody likes to get their feelings hurt. Nobody likes that. So uh, nobody wants to be made a fool of, none of that. And so, <clears throat> you know, right, wrong, good, bad, uh, so, what do I believe in? I think it would be cool if people, like, so like my dad, this was a perfect opportunity way back, tw almost 20 years now, let's see, 13, and it was, oh, jeez, whoo, it's coming up on 20 years that we haven't spoke. Uh, no, no, not that long, not that long. We were doing an email exchange the last time I was here. That was our last, six, that's, that was our last communication. I wrote a book called Letters from Son to Father to Son, based off of that, that, that communication. Anyway, it's been, since I've seen him in person, it's been a very long time, Com coming up on 20 years. Um, so it would have been pretty cool if he would have said, hey, Jeff, what do you mean you don't believe in right, wrong, good, or bad? What do you mean? Like, who does <laughs> That doesn't even seem right. That doesn't even seem like human. I mean, whatever, however he would have said it. And I think it would have been really great if he did, because then I could have told him, Dad, you know, I'm discovering that... <sighs> Everything is situational. Everything, everything is situational. So like, of course it's, a, it's wrong to shoot somebody, but if they're breaking into your house and attacking a loved one, then you shoot that fucker. And there's nothing wrong with that. So right and wrong, good, bad, all of that just seems so, um, I don't know, uh, trivial. So I believe in positivity and negativity. I be, and I choose positivity, the, the most I can anyways, the best that I can. Um, I believe in harmony and chaos. I believe in um, creativity and destruction. So when I'm viewing anything that's going on in my life, I don't ask myself if it's right or wrong. I ask myself if it's, if it's de destructive or creative. I ask myself, if is, it, is it positive or, or negative? I ask myself, is it harmonious or chaotic? Now sometimes, Chaos needs to be chosen. You know what I mean? I'm not saying, like, in order for anything to grow, any, for anything to grow, it's pretty chaotic. Like, if you shrug yourself down to represent where a seed, and uh, where, if you shrunk yourself down where a seed represented the size, a seed underground, let's just say an apple seed, what the fuck, why not? Call me Johnny if you want to. Anyway, whatever. So let's say let's say you shrunk yourself down, whew, all the way down to where the size of an apple seed represented the size of our sun. Okay. Now put yourself next to that seed and wait for that seed to pop. <laughs> Pretty sure it's chaotic. Pretty sure it's gonna be destructive. Like it's just gonna blow the dirt. I mean, if you're that small, and it just popped. Whoa. Yeah, so creation is destructive. It's, it's, it's chaotic. Just, and, and, whatever. So I believe in, like, so sometimes that needs to be chosen because sometimes new life has to be born. 
Anyway, whatever. Doesn't matter. What matters is, <clears throat> if you find yourself communicating with somebody and what they're saying to you doesn't really make sense, it's probably a good idea to ask that person, how do you mean by that? And let them explain it to you because we all have our own code. We all have our own language that we speak. We have our own form of like slang, so to speak. I mean, geez, when we were younger, we used to use the word gay for something that meant stupid. So if I say, oh, that's gay around like my children's friends or something, Oh my God, they look at me like, I'm like, whoa, 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 shit, I forgot. I don't mean it in, in a, in a, in a sex, sexual orientative way. It's just what, how we used to say that was stupid back in the day. Anyway, so. Hope you have a great day, honestly. Yeah, it's almost like I've gone plaid. Ooh. <laughs> Laters. Gators.